Hey guys, welcome to Smokey Media. And in this video, let's take a look at 2023 Civic Type R. Number 1. What's new for 2023? Hot Hatch fans have been waiting eagerly for the return of the Civic Type R. After skipping a year in 2022, the Type R has finally re-emerged for 2023, and it's worth the wait. Honda's hottest new hatch aims to provide the same entertainment the last car, but with more power and smoother looks this time around. The new Civic Type R's muscles have grown into a larger chassis, but it stands on smaller 19-inch wheels wrapped in wider Michelin Pilot Sport for S tires. The front and rear tracks are also wider with improved cooling for the brakes. The CTR's output gains 9 horsepower and 15 pound-feet of torque from an upgraded 315 horsepower turbocharged to liter engine and 6-speed manual transmission. The Type R's onboard data logger no longer requires a smartphone app, as its lap recording and performance instrumentation can now be accessed from the car's 9-inch infotainment touchscreen. The Civic Type R returns sleeker and stronger, flexing its muscles. New features for 2023 include a tweaked engine with more power, better aerodynamics and improved wing placement, a specially tuned high-flow exhaust system, a 48% larger grill opening, a bigger radiator, stiffer body structure and an upgraded Bose audio system with 12 speakers. Best of all, depending on the beholder, it looks much cleaner and more muscular than the old model. Number 2. History the first-generation Civic Type R was a three-door hatchback that debuted in Japan for the 1997 model year. It was based on the sixth-generation Civic and didn't come to the US until its fifth generation. It was equipped with a DOH Civtech 1.6-liter normally aspirated engine, paired to a six-speed transmission that generated 180 to horsepower. Then the second generation Civic Type R was based on the seventh generation Civic platform. It was powered by 2.0 liter DOHC IVTEC normally aspirated for cylinder engine that delivered 200 horsepower. It was built in Japan but sold in international markets excluding North America. And in the third generation, there were two completely different Civic Type R's. One built in Japan for Asia-Pacific markets and another built in the UK for the UK and EU. Both used to 0.0-liter four-cylinder engines with six-speed manual transmissions, but the Japanese version made 220 to horsepower and came as a four-door sedan, while the UK variant got 198 and came only as a three-door hatchback. Neither was sold in the US. The fourth generation Type R is the first of the Red Badge to bear, a turbocharged power plant. It's also the one that lived the shortest, only hitting showrooms from 2015 to 2017. Regardless, its engine output has been raised to an outstanding 306 horsepower and 295 pounds feet of torque, mated to a six speed manual transmission. After that, fifth generation launched with a turbocharged 2.0 liter four cylinder engine, making 306 horsepower and 285 pounds feet of torque. This Type R was available only with a six speed transmission and the first Type R to be sold in North America. Stacked air vents in front formed a staccato design under the headlamps, and the grille bore the signature red H to represent the Honda Type R Sabran. After a quick snooze for 2022, sixth generation Type R finally returned to the market with a boosted version of the same engine, cranking out 315 horsepower and 310 pounds feet of torque. Refreshed styling inside and out and additional driver assist technology made the Civic Type R more attractive both physically and fundamentally. Number three, performance. This particular model of Honda's Type R is an alpha dog 
Engineers started with the same to liter for cylinder from the previous Type R and squeezed out more horsepower and torque. But a redesigned turbocharger with a more efficient exhaust system has increased power output to 315 horsepower at 6,500 RPM with 310 pound-feet of torque at 2,600 to 4,000 RPM, which manifests in twisty turns with quick confidence. The Civic Type R also benefits from additional improvements, such as a larger radiator and improved brake cooling. Honda has also increased the RPM at which the active exhaust valve opens to heighten the cars for cylinder symphony. A lighter flywheel paired with a revised RevMatch system should further reward rowing at the new Type R six-speed manual transmission. The front drive only Honda uses an innovative dual-axis strut front suspension that does a terrific job of suppressing torque steer. While the new Civic Type R isn't as visually extreme as the old one, it still sports a prominent rear wing and other aerodynamic adeta, as well as 19-inch wheels wrapped with sticky Michelin Pilot Sport for S Performance tires. At racetrack, the Type R bolted to 60 miles per hour in 4.9 seconds and eclipsed the quarter mile marker in 13.5 seconds at 106 miles per hour. The new Civic Type R lives up to the anticipation, accelerating with a playful but firm cadence. The short throw shifter is magnificent and the throttle response is noticeably quicker even with a transmission that was pretty darn good in the previous iteration. Three drive modes are available Comfort, Sport and Plus R. Comfort is typical everyday driving. Sport gives it a kick in the pants and Plus R is the stiffest ride best suited for zipping around a track on the weekend. The F1 style shift indicator lights that add to the visual excitement. It was perfectly comfortable staying in third gear, spooling up and down the RPM range even during hairpin turns that melded into tempting straightaways. Number 4. Exterior and Design The 2023 Civic Type R is a major style upgrade from the 2021 version, and its myriad strakes, slats, spoilers and fake vents. The 2023 Type R is longer, lower and wider than the older car and rides a 1.4-inch longer wheelbase. It's much cleaner visually and more muscular. A new aggressive grille improves airflow by 48%, and Honda added a crescent vent in the hood to improve airflow to the engine. Snappy fender flares curve over its ultralight 19-inch matte black alloys, which are wrapped in Michelin Pilot Sport for S tires. The reverse rim profile of the wheels make the whole tire and wheel setup appear to be larger than it is, giving the hatch more depth and flavor. From the outside, the Civic Type R is clean and drama-free. Truth be told, it could do with a little more flair as it seems to have smoothed out from the previous generation. Its new exhaust pipe configuration, with the largest pipe in the center, puts an exclamation point on the rear end, and the wing has been lifted for better visibility. Number 5. Interior Although the new Civic Type R wears a more minimalist interior design than its predecessor, drivers and passengers will find the sport seats up front to be supportive, firmly gripping torsos and thighs in twisty turns. The interior includes red accents, fox carbon fiber trim, and a familiar set of super comfy and supportive front seats. Atop the new digital cluster is a row of shift light indicators to help prevent slapping up against the red line between shifts. Honda knows that Type R drivers love track days and hype the car before its introduction by having a thinly disguised prototype set a lap record at the Suzuka circuit in Japan. Number 6. Cargo Deep cup holders in the console and situating them behind the shifter. A wide hatch opening makes loading cargo into the Type R hassle-free and a 60-40th split back seat means various configurations are possible with the rear seats in place. The Civic Type R boasts 24.5 cubic feet of cargo capacity. In short, passenger and cargo space are the same as the normal Civic hatchback, which should make the Civic Type R a great dual-purpose car. Number 7. Infotainment and Connectivity Honda's latest infotainment system runs through a 9-inch touchscreen mounted on the Civic Type R's dashboard. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto work as expected and the touchscreen works fine, but it feels like the infotainment software underneath is due for an update. 
It lags in comparison to the driver information display, which offers easy to read meters in a logical way. It really comes to life when the plus R button is selected, placing the engine RPM and gear position at the top while including a rev indicator. It's exciting to see. Number eight, fuel economy. The new Type R subtle horsepower bump isn't at the sacrifice of fuel economy, at least according to the EPA. The hot hatch gets a cool EPA estimated 20 to MPG in the city and 28 MPG on the highway. Number nine, safety and driver assistance technology. The 2023 Type R is equipped with Honda's same comprehensive suite of driver assistive technologies from the regular Civic, including forward collision warning, road departure mitigation, collision mitigation, and lane keep assist. Although 2023 Type R hasn't been crash tested by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration or the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. Number 10, the competition and pricing. The 2023 Honda Civic Type R competes with Toyota GR Corolla, Hyundai Elantra N, Subaru WRX, and Volkswagen Golf R. Of the four in this category, the Civic Type R slips a notch in practicality for providing for seats instead of five as with the Elantra N, Golf R, and Subaru WRX, though even the Hyundai's capacious back seat is a squeeze when full. The GR Corolla seats five passengers except for the wild Morizo version, which accommodates only two. But to the Type R buyers, the back seat is a secondary consideration. The Civic Type R starting price is $44,000. Compared to its rivals, Volkswagen Golf R is a bit expensive as it starts at $45,000. Also, the Toyota GR Corolla starts at $36,000. Hyundai Elantra N starts at $33,000 and Subaru WRX starts at $31,000. The 2023 Civic Type R, reborn into a new generation after a one year, is a fiery hot hatch that comes only with a manual transmission. It retains much of the practicality of the regular Civic hatchback on which it's based, which makes it a versatile car suitable for enthusiasts of all ages. Though it does sacrifice one passenger's worth of space inside, it's more expensive than it used to be, but it's an absolute delight to drive, with a gear shifter that fits neatly into your hand and satisfyingly zoomy power. Alright, that's all for this video folks. If you are new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. That means a lot to me. And if you watched this video, then give a like to the video and share this video with your friends. See you in the next one.